Buenos dias amigos from the beautiful Bacalar. Today we're gonna show you a little bit of the city itself if we don't get run over by a taxi cab. But, for <laughs> <laughs> but, but first, coffee. First, what's the name of the restaurant? Sabora. Sabora. We have been here once before, and it's one of the few restaurants in the square. This yeah. is three or four restaurants in the square, but this one. It's got a lot of Sabora. Mucho flavor. Mucho flavor? <laughs> myself a breakfast torta. I feel like I can never find these that are just right. This one has mayonnaise, avocado, egg, and cheese. Oh my gosh, bacala. <laughs> We can never find, in Mexico City you can find a torta with anything and everything in it besides the eggs. I can't ever find, comment below let us know if you know like a good egg torta place. It's not full of chili eggs. <laughs> well, I'll take that too. Yeah. That breakfast was muy, muy rico. It cost 270 pesos with the tip. Again, not the cheapest a expensive here. place. Not the cheapest, but the portions are big. Almost like every restaurant we've been to. Six scrambled eggs. <laughs> it was about six scrambled eggs. We want, we've showed you in the last few videos, we, we've done a boat tour. We have shown you the fort. We have watched a sunrise. We have showed the water a lot. Shown the incredibly blue water. But what we haven't shown is, is the town of Bacalar, which I'm I'm deeming hipster paradise. Hippie paradise? Uh, hipster paradise. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Bohemian paradise, surfer yeah. paradise. We don't really know the right. It's 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 got a hipster vibe. Let's let's show you around. <laughs> We were able to capture the hipster vibes, hippie, hipster, bohemian vibes or not, but they're definitely there. Yeah, it feels a little bit like a surf town almost. Lots of vegetarian options, so <laughs> I'm golden. I would say that's part of it. Tons of vegetarian uh -huh. options, tons of like, uh, I guess probably it's actually environmentally responsible. It does feel very environmentally friendly. I think a lot of the restaurants we've been to don't have plastics or they have biodegradable organic mm -hmm. plastics, and I do think that helps add to the cost, but I also think that those efforts of conservation uh, uh, can be attributed to, the yeah. lake can be attributed to those <laughs> efforts. Yeah. Uh, the beauty of the lake. There was one piece of trash in the lake <laughs> and our boat literally stopped and ha called someone from shore to pick up yeah. the piece of trash. So I do think that like because of the people here, mm -hmm. they are Caring so conscious, and, mm -hmm. I think that the lake will be beautiful for years to come. I hope so because this, I mean, the town, the town is cool, but the lake is, is the attraction. When we first got in here, we first got to Bacalar, really before I had seen much of the lake or even seen the lake, I was like, I don't know if I could live here. Like, it's pretty small. It's I don't know town. if there's anything to do. It's pretty quiet. Pretty quiet, but after like every day, I'm like, I don't know. Like, yeah, we I both start, started to feel like, you know, I 
could do this. Yeah, so my first impressions of the town were like, hey, I mean, it's a town, but like, let's go to the lake. And now, I mean, I still wanna go to the lake right after we film this. Yeah. But I think just the laid back vibes of the town of, of I could become vegan here. Yeah. So I gotta grow my hair back out. <laughs> yeah, it'll be <laughs> a few months. Go full vegan. What are we gonna do the rest of the day? We don't know. Be lake trash like everyone else here. <laughs> The little town of Bacalar is cool, but one, we, we don't really shop because we carry what? we carry everything around with us. So like going to little hipster shops or whatever, boutique shops, doesn't really make sense for our lifestyle. And two, no one comes to Bacalar to sit in the town square. Why do you come to Bacalar? For that. Come to Bacalar for that water, amigos. We're gonna take you to one last spot, Municipal. On the audio, Ejibal. Ej there's no P. Ejibal. Ejidal. Ejidal. Ejidal, I think, maybe. We have made it to Balneario Ejidal. It's pretty cool here. It seems pretty local. It's 30 pesos for a, a pretty big personal palapa, which is well worth it with the intense sun. 15 pesos for this handy dandy wrist bracelet. The water here is super pristine. There's also food nearby, so it seems like we're set for a good day. <laughs> We have, we only have a few hours until our bus to Chetimal and flight to, can't tell you I'm just not yet. Telling you that. So we have to soak it up all we can. We fully participated in the zen, very slow, calm vibes, unlike those dogs. The dog is not zen right now. <laughs> I think there's something so tranquil about, um, for Greg and I, being around the water. I think we both feel a certain sense of calmness, of really digging deep. I feel like we've had like the best conversations over the last few days. I think. Uh, one of the last times we felt this was in Watulco. Yeah. Um, there's something just so peaceful and tranquil uh, for us to be around any body of water. <laughs> exactly, and like earlier I said in the video, when we first got to uh, Bacalar, when we first got to Bacalar, I was like, I don't know if we can live here. And that's completely changed, and I really think like we just fit in better in beachy towns and like water towns or places where we get outside and like connect with nature, if you will, that sounds yeah, super hipster. I think it's just that. I think it's not even necessarily water, it's getting outside. I think we have both spent so much of our childhood outside building mud pies, picking up acorns, sports, things like that. So for us, it's all about the outdoors. And uh, we're a little sunburned. Just a little bit, though. We did put on sunscreen, Mom. Yes. <laughs> and I guess just the overall final thought for that is, is our, our tagline which we don't show it anymore is have less, do more, be more. And I think when we're in a place like Bacalar that like really we're able to reconnect with that of, of having less, getting outside, doing more. Yeah, literally just having less. Like we don't need anything. We just need the, like the grass and the water and nature. And like we didn't have towels today. We had to yeah. drag our backpacks with us and like uh, just sort of like taking it all in as opposed to like having the perfect picnic. Exactly, and we encourage you to try and do the same, try and enjoy the simple things in life. Um, just have fun with less, live a life with less, and find a way to do more in your life. Ooh. <laughs> Poetic. <laughs> Amigos, this is our last day in Bacalar. Oh. We, we've got to go jump on a sweaty bus to check the mall. We didn't even take, we don't even take showers. We're late trash getting on a bus and then an airplane. I'm sorry for whoever's sitting next to us. But 19C, <laughs> sorry about you. We have some extremely fun adventures coming along. Luckily the dog is not going with us. What? <laughs> 
I don't know what's going on out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to get notified. Every time. Go for a new video, and we will see you guys. My name is Beth. Sin Perro. From? Ooh. Somewhere we won't be wearing tank tops. No tank tops. There you go.